two dimensions, when you're on, when you're on a whiteboard, there's only, only two things that can happen. Either the lines are parallel, or they intersect. That's it. But once you get into three dimensions, we've got a third option. They're either parallel, or they intersect, or something like that. Now those lines aren't parallel, and they don't intersect. So what do we call that? It doesn't happen in two dimensions, does it? Anybody know what we call it? Why are you filming this? <laughs> <laughs> How long are you filming it? What, what do we call it? It's called the lines being skew. I've just done about skewness in S1. Remember skewness in S1, positive skew, negative skew, and that stuff? Well, this is a different use of the word skew. But if the lines, if the lines are in three dimensions, and they do that. Um, now, I, I, there's a really nice way of thinking about this, I reckon. You know, on a pinch yourself, imagine, close your eyes for a moment, all of you, and imagine yourselves lying on the, uh, the, the soft, dry, warm grass of your back garden, gazing up at a clear blue sky, not a single cloud in the sky, not everybody's got their eyes closed here. But imagine yourself gazing up at the perfect blue sky. There's a slight breeze. Somebody a little bit further down the street is barbecuing and the smell is just drifting up to you. It's a lovely smell. You can feel a small ant crawling across your toes. Maybe I should get to the point. You look up at the sky and, and there have been two aeroplanes that have, have flown across and going, going in different directions. And you look at it, you can see their vapour trails still up there in the sky. And it looks like they crossed. Because in effect, what you're doing is you're looking at the sky almost as a two-dimensional flat canvas. But actually, those, the two planes were many miles apart in, you know, at different altitude as they were flying. It just looks like they crossed because you're projecting the three-dimensional skewness of the lines onto a two-dimensional canvas of the sky. But it's, it's that situation. They actually, in two dimensions, they crossed, but in three dimensions, there were some distance apart. Two lines of skewness. That's, that's quite a nice way of thinking about that. Um, we've got to have some cake, haven't we, before we run out of time? Rachel has brought cake. Um, we know what day it is tomorrow.